What's going on guys, it's Pokemon Trainer Dino, and today we are breaking down Journeys episode 93, Your Name is Francois, to find all the visual details and references you might have missed. Without further ado, let's start with the video. In the episode, Professor Cerise mentions a phenomenon called the magnetic storm, and it has caused a blackout. This is actually a real phenomenon. A geomagnetic storm, also known as a magnetic storm, is a temporary disturbance of the Earth's magnetosphere caused by a solar wind shock wave and or a cloud of magnetic field that interacts with the Earth's magnetic field. Later, he reveals that the storm dealt damage to the satellite and this actually can scientifically happen as well. During magnetic storm, satellite electronics can be damaged through the buildup and discharge of static electric charges. Later, Ren tries to block the transmission to Francois with tinfoil, which is again a scientific phenomenon called the Faraday cage. A Faraday cage or Faraday shield is an enclosure used to block electromagnetic fields. A Faraday shield may be formed by a continuous covering of conductive material, or in the case of a Faraday cage, by a mesh of such materials. Faraday cages are named after the scientist Michael Faraday, who invented them in 1836. Wrapping magnemite in tinfoil creates a Faraday cage, because those signals that are transmitting to magnemite are electronic, and the tinfoil prevents the signal from reaching Francois. When Francois, however, finally joins the other magnemites, they fuse into a larger beam, which resembles the main body of a magnemite. And in the end, we see a woman reuniting with a magnemite and some magnemite hanging out around a street lamp, which are both closures to two foreshadowing photos in the beginning, in which we saw the woman losing the magnemite and other outraged magnemites flipping out around the street lamp. That's already it with this breakdown. This time I tried a more scientific approach to this breakdown to make up for the not very sophisticated episode in terms of easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and maybe you even learned a thing or two for your physics class. Thank you for watching, I will catch you next time.